you mind telling me a little bit about the car? Yeah, it's a 2001 Mustang. It's got a uh, 5.3 in it, turbo LS, uh, turbo 400 on methanol. What size turbo? 84. 84 millimeters. So this yep. is your new car? Yes, new car. New to you car? Yes, <laughs> yeah. A lot more car, small tire car instead of True Street now. So. Right. See how it does. First Big time. difference? Yeah, yeah. It is a, it's a lot more car than what we had before. A lot more chassis underneath it, so. Oh. Ah! Front end coming up is a little different. Went yeah. from being a radial car to no travel on the front to letting it hang out. So yeah. we'll, uh, we'll see how it does out here though. Now, are you keeping the name? Are you switching the name up? What are we doing? I think we're going with Midlife Crisis on this Mid one. <laughs> Bro, so. Midlife Crisis. Yep. I like yep. Now we yep. saw you here at Muskogee last time. Yep. How do you feel about today? I feel pretty good. I think we got a pretty good idea what the track can take. So hopefully go out and make some A to B passes, go some rounds. Right, right. Sweet, man, I like it, I like it. And this is your first race? This is your first official race with this car? Yes, uh, out here. Not We've uh, we've done a couple little small tire shootout stuff. We uh, haven't had too good of luck with it, just kind of getting the car figured out. Right, so. right. That bonding between man and machine yep, right there. Yep, figuring it out, power management on this. So. Right on, man, good luck today. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, man. Perfect timing. What's happening, man? Welcome back to Muskogee. How you been? <laughs> been good, buddy. How you been? Pretty good. Yeah. Welcome back, man. Thanks, man. Now, how you feel about today? Yeah. What made you want to come back to Muskogee? I really love the place. Yeah. I mean, it's I like the surface. I like the people. The pits are awesome. Um, it's great. For, I mean, just the the place where they have it at is great. I mean, I wish they would do a big one here. Okay. Could get yeah, a big, dude, you could like a big, this whole big money line. payout or something, because you got plenty of room for parking and everything. Dude, seriously, it's cool. It's a great place. It's not real far from home. Um, people are good. So. so, for everybody watching, you know, start thinking. For everybody watching this for the first time, let's say this is the first time they run into Kendall going. They're new to the drag racing slash street racing. What's the setup on the car? Um, big block Chevy, nitrous, induction solutions. Um, just a uh, box body Mustang, power glide, nine inch rear end. Um, got some UPR goodies on it. And that's about it. I mean, just uh, a lot of box body stuff. No, basic stuff. How yep. long you been doing this whole drag racing stuff for? Well, we built this car in 09. Um, started racing it in 2010. Uh, before, about 12 years, huh? Before that, I had a uh, 69 Firebird we raced quite a bit. When we first built this car, we built we uh, put a Pontiac motor in it. It was one of the first ones in the country with a Mustang with a Pontiac motor. It had 500 inch Pontiac motor in it. So, always been a nitrous car. So. Oh yeah, and the car's name? Um, Black Bitch Racing. Black Bitch Racing. Which a lot of people don't understand, but that is, uh, that's a slang term for Queen of Spades. Queen of Spades. Yep. So, if you don't know, now you know. Yep, that's it. And you guys got a Facebook page? You know, yeah, we got a Facebook also? page. It's actually 13 L A C K 13 um, Itch Racing. He said you think for, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for uh, for political standard reasons. Yeah. Now you guys give them a follow, man. This car gets down, street certified. We've seen this car in Kansas, Texas. I mean, dude, Oklahoma, we've seen you everywhere. It's been all the place. We've raced in, we've raced on the street in South Carolina, North Carolina, Mississippi, Arkansas. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been on the street a lot of places. It's been in track a lot of places. So we do both. Kind of does a little bit of everything, huh? Yep, yep. You're entering today small tire? Yep, run small tire today. So, oh yeah, we're just got the thing back together not too long ago. And, trying a few things trying to get ready for this last half of the year and try to try to get some wins here yet so we're gonna, gap. yep what's up man <laughs> good luck today buddy thanks man i appreciate <laughs> Basic setup, what are we looking at? 
Uh, single turbo LS uh, on E85. It's an 88103 VS Racing Turbo. Pretty, pretty mild setup on a Glide uh, Explorer 88 rear end. Pretty, pretty street car seat in the back. Daughter loves riding in it. <laughs> Got to have that everywhere we go. Uh, what year truck? 88. 88. 88 little blazer, man. So I pulled it out of the field a few years ago and painted it up. LS swapped it and here she is. Restoration. Yeah, man. It's cool. We love it. We drive it everywhere. Cruises. I mean, pretty much it's, it's, a, it's a daily driver this setup. This is not your first time at Muskogee. No, no, no. We've been here several times. What do you think about Muskogee? What do you think about OK Raceway? Oh, man. It's great, but man, it's slick. Yeah. You're going to have to, uh, you got to know your tune-up. It's you not. the challenge? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's uh, it's it's way it's way better than uh than racing up track really. I think. Right. It's, it's a lot more fun. It's more challenging. Your tune-up's got to be spot on. Kind of gives the underdog a fighting chance. Exactly. It's the uh, this is the uh, equalizer. the equalizer. Yeah. That's what we like to think of it because we're heavy and we don't belong in tailgate or true street, but we we can race it here. <laughs> Make me dance. What's the name of the car? Your sister. This was a 68 Chevelle or? 69. 69. What's yep. the setup on the ballpark? Uh, it's a small block steel. It's a 464 cubic inch small block now, so it's nitrous. Small tire. What transmission? Uh, a Glide. Glide. What, uh, what fuel are you running? Uh, 120. 120? What class are you, what are you entering today? Small tire. Small tire. Yeah. Is this your first time racing it here at Muskogee? Uh, nope. Race I've raced once, time? yeah. How do you feel about the surface? Uh, it's, it's gonna be tricky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feel good about it, bad about it? Uh, I guess I'm just kind of in the ballpark. I tested last night on some stuff similar, so we'll see. So you're coming in with that underdog mentality, trying to put somebody on the trailer. Mm -hmm. Yep. I know, but I seen you. I seen you come in here just humble like this, just not saying when the whole fucking cash day. Right. I don't want to hear that. Let's <laughs> we'll see if that will reap. All right, man. Good luck today. Yep. Thanks. Who you got driving over here? This is your car? Girls driving, huh? How old are you? Eight. Eight? Is this, uh, whose car is this? Who's that guy? My dad. That's your dad? Yeah. Do you like your dad racing? Yeah. Yeah? You think he's pretty fast? You like the car? Yeah. Yeah? That's what's up. Are you going to be a race car driver when you get older? Maybe. Maybe. And I don't know. This is a pretty sick car. I would be. Mm. I want to drive something like this. Mm. Do you, do you mind giving me just a little ballpark setup on the G-Body? Yeah, it's a big block, power glide. It's actually a 482 big block, uh, three-quarter tube chassis. It's a nitrous like setup? Or? Nitrous, yeah, nitrous. single single kit. Uh, what year? 1980. Uh, car have a name? It's Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls? Yeah, it used to be used to be named the Hooker, but we changed it. Yeah, you you were putting it, huh? Yeah, well, my kids. <laughs> yeah, you like that? You like that big papa vibe? Yeah, I like that gangster. Is this your first time racing here at Muskogee? Uh, no, with this car, yes. How you feel about it? Uh, we got a pretty decent tune-up in it, but we'll see what it does. What are you entering today? A uh, small tire. Hell yeah! Small tire with the gangster. Yeah, that's right. Good luck today, buddy. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, you look Nobody's testing. Nobody's making. 
making, uh, you know, adjustments and all that good stuff. There. Also, I believe we're doing a little uh, kid cash kind of giveaway thing where we're going to throw down some money to let it run after it. Give it again. Of course, we're going to do that a little bit later on. Some more kiddos. In that case, that's why I get out there before noon or what the case is. I know I'm, I'm kind of that one. By the way, my name is Buffalo Head. Thanks for having me. I really enjoy calling the show. As far as that I have a part of one more race coming up in October. And I guess, you know, it's a lot of the same rule set, so racers can cross over and race both venues, get a little more experience on most premium services in Oklahoma. I bet some of these racers would probably agree with that statement. So if you like what you see, Dream. Cool stuff for the kiddos, power wheels, all that good stuff. Ballpark set what are we looking at here? Uh, it's just a Thompson Speed 427, 92 millimeter VS racing turbo. Real simple build up, turbo 400. What fuel are you running? E85. E85? Yep. Oh, yeah. What year? 2000. 2000. Yeah. What made you want to build something like this? Man, um, end up I bought the car factory like probably five, six years ago. It's kind of a high school car. Oh, I got you. And it went all the way. I just want to keep going, yes. And bolt-ons took over. Bolt-ons took over, yeah, <laughs> for sure. So. Is this your first time here at Muskogee? It is, yep. First Man. time. Right on. What are you entering? Uh, True Street. True Street. Yes, sir. True Street car. I like that. Yep. Passenger seat in there and everything. Yes, sir. Does the car have a name? It really doesn't, man. It's just low trans am. I mean, that's why I put the, on the tag at least. So. Low trans am. Yeah. Right on, right on. Well, we're gonna find out what your power management skills are all about today. We'll buddy. see. We'll see. Good <laughs> luck, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Part set up on the car. What are we looking at here? Two JZ. Uh, three liter setup, uh, barely built, uh, 8891 Gen 2 um, Precision Turbo. Uh, it's got fuel tech on it, uh, air to water intercooler. It's, uh, it's got a three speed turbo 400 and uh, a gear vendor's overdrive. What made you want to build something like this? This is super unique. My dad. Yeah. Yeah, he had some, he had the rotary uh, Datsun and the internet just blew up and lost their shit yep and it worked it did so yours, yours does too yeah this car works great so. does the car have a name overkill 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 i always ask you get somebody first time seeing you yeah first channel first video they click on you know sure sure i love it i love it what are you entering today small tire small tire oh okay. man were you out of kansas city kansas city yep right on man right on i love it very unique ride thank you
is this ballpark? What are we looking at here? It's a 1935 Chevy Coupe. Uh, got a little 400 small block with blower. Blower? Got a stock rear suspension. Oh, yeah, it's uh, what fuel? I'd run on pump gas. Pump gas? Pump gas. 87 because we're saving money? No, no, we got to run on 91. <laughs> yeah, she does pretty good. It's got stock interior. It's just uh, just an old just an old car. We just drug it up. How do you feel it's going to do here in Muskogee? Oh, our chances are okay. Okay, I hear they're okay. Huh? <laughs> How much power do you think it makes? Oh, five or six hundred horse. It's not good. Yeah, it, it runs all right. Runs all right. Are we yeah. gonna make the cruise? We're gonna break down. What are we oh doing? no, we'll make it. We'll make it. We can drive this thing to California. Really? Oh yeah, it's a real street car. Yeah. I like how nobody wants to drive to New York. It's always California. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go to New York? I've ever ridden in. I'm not even kidding. Oh, yeah. I can hear myself thinking here. Yeah. I like this. I like this a lot. Thank you. Thank what you. made you want to build something like this? I just don't like to have something everybody else has got. That's right. You didn't want another Fox body. No, no, no. Very nice. Very nice. All the gauges still work and everything? Eh, speedometer don't work. We broke it. We run a little faster than 100. <laughs> That's how you're doing it with the flag. Yeah. I like it. I didn't have room. My feet are too big. <laughs> I guess people were smaller back in the day. I guess. No, I'm serious. Like, they, even, were. they were. They yeah, were. Even in, uh, even in the Nova, they were, uh, even in my, in my shoe box, they were yeah. smaller. Yeah. It's, so 35 Chevy. Chevy standard. Chevy standard. They made a deluxe that was bigger. This is the standard. So we're rolling around in a 1935 Chevy standard. I'm learning all about these cars, guys. Uh, these are all new to me way before my time actually before my dad's time my dad was born yeah. in 44 yeah so damn how old is this car i don't know you gotta do math man it's got to be at least like 80 years old 80 uh, 80 years old 80, 80. yeah pretty i don't know man wow and we're, you're out here drag racing it oh yeah because that's the Sometimes american we gotta stop and put some nails back in the doors <laughs> <laughs> oh the the the, the the All the inner wood? structure of this car is wood. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is sheet metal stretched over a wood wow. frame. Man, we're rolling around some OG. Where'd you find this? Uh, Bella Vista, Arkansas. I bought it off a gentleman up there. And we uh, brought it home, drove it around with the original motor for a while, and it didn't take me long to tear it up. Oh, yeah, you wanted to leave it original, and then you said, nah, no. I I bought it to build a street ride. <laughs> it's worth a lot more as a street ride, especially to me. Right on. So you enter H-Town a few times? Yeah, yeah, H-Town. We raced it at Wagner. Wagner, H-Town. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty quick for what it is. I like the steering wheel, man. <laughs> that's power steering wheel. Man, dude, that's what's up. <laughs> Serious, man. 
So we're in the cruise right now, guys, and uh, man, they're not playing around. You better have some ground clearance to make this cruise. Going up and down and all around, down the back roads of Muskogee, Oklahoma. If you guys haven't checked out Oki Raceway yet, check them out on Facebook. Um, they got the Facebook page, they post all the events, they do battle on the blacktop, they do uh, rumble on the runway. Uh, it's a very challenging surface and uh, it definitely, it's definitely going to challenge all racers. I mean, if you don't know, you're going to learn about power management down this road. That or sandbags and weights in your trunk. But you're going you're gonna to have to figure it out. Horsepower is not going to win this race. Some real street racing. Yeah, this is some real street shit right here. Literally. But we are, we're about, I believe we're starting the cruise or could be halfway down the cruise. Muskogee, they never tell you. You just kind of, you said it's a street car, so it's got to do street car shit. If your car gets hot, you're a problem. You get a flat tire, you're a problem. You need to tow it back, you're out, basically. Um, so, I've always been a big fan of Muskogee. I'm a big fan of what they got going on over here. And uh, we're going to see how today goes. Like I said, I think this is, we have a huge car count. A huge car count for us. Uh, Daily Driver, Daily Driver Pro, and True Street. What size blower is on it? Uh, 177. Wait, okay, so have you ran this at the track? Uh, yeah, a long time ago. Oh, before, before the setup? Before yeah. The, the... What do you think it runs right now? Uh, I mean, it's got to be in the 10s. With no nitrous, it runs in the 10s. Nice. Yeah. No, no nitrous and no cage. No cage. No seatbelt. <laughs> well, I got a seatbelt. Man, those look good, man. But <laughs> what are they? Are they anchored to the wood, to the 2x4 in the yeah, back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the lag bolts. Oh shit, bro. <laughs> made it back. Made it back. Nobody had to walk. <laughs> man, nice car, man. I love it. Nice ride, guys. for coming out today and ladies uh, this is the battle on the black top three uh, let's start off with anybody got any kind of questions okay y'all all know this is an arm drop right <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure yeah I've got Chase's race to just making sure I got everyone to uh, it seems like every time I try to talk anymore <clears throat> I've got to clear my throat, so I'm probably going to let John do a lot of this. Uh, some of the general rules I usually have in my hand, I don't have them with me today. Uh, <sighs> power cracks will jump. If you jump, you're out. You cross your line, and you, if you cross out of your line, you're out. So if you hit your yellow line, if you hit your yellow line, you're okay. If you come out of your yellow line towards your opponent's line, if we can determine it. If you want to be on the line, tell your crew to let me know. Uh, when I flag, I give every person five, uh, five, oh, five arms, five arms, I'm hitting the light. Uh, so if you want to bump in, uh, if you take seven seconds to spool up, I'd say start spooling before I ever get to you to pull you in. That way you're ready by the time I uh, you know, give you the five count. Um, Brandon will be on the finish line with the camera. If he can't make the call, he'll bring it to me. If I can't make the call, me and Jeff will go over it together. Um, rarely, he, he usually can make the call. Um, I'm pretty good about making the call on the jump without even having to go to the camera, but I got the camera if I need to. Um, if you have any issue about if you think your opponent jumped after the round bring it to me we'll go back to that your race we'll look at it we'll make the determination then um, 
I don't want to slow down because I know people are suited up in the cars. I know it's hot. I want to get people that are suited up, get them ran, then we'll go over it. Think of anything else? Daily driver, daily driver pro, true street, tailgate, small tire, big tire. Uh, please join us in, uh, in a short prayer here. God, we thank you for today. We thank you for, uh, for just being able to come out here in your presence and be with friends, family, and loved ones. We just pray that you keep a hand over everyone here, especially the racers as they go up and down this track. Um, and I just pray that afterwards that, uh, that you have a hand on everybody else as they return home. And also, please, if everyone can, Keep Jason Copeland and Douglas Weeks in, uh, in your prayers. Um, they're still in recovery, and we just uh, pray that they make a, a full recovery uh, sooner than later. And, uh, and anyhow, just keep all these racers down here and all of y'all's thoughts and prayers today. Amen. And then if the rest of y'all will, stand up, please, for the uh, National Anthem.
those stones to the snow at previous angle on this uh, surface. And I imagine he will do well. Now, we want to waste all the paper and anything can happen in that race. good information without any fear of losing and then I guess we'll wrap it up with uh, a single because we had an odd number
You all right, man? I'm good. I'm good. Hope you got it on film. <laughs> I got it on film. You want, you want to say a word about it? How, what, what kind of ride was it, man? What happened? Uh, 84 S10, Turbo LS. Uh, stupid. What happened on the pass, though? What happened? Uh, had it too hot. I lost it. I knew I lost, but I wanted some data for next time I come. I should have just... Started getting, start getting away from me? Yeah. Yeah, I just pedaled it one too many times, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Can't believe it rolled. Dude, right? Yeah, I saw, I saw you. I mean, I literally Dude, you barely hit the wall. You were going hit, but I, once it caught sideways? Yeah, I was like, I couldn't even tell if I was going to hit the wall or not. It's how slow it was going. Do you want to see it? Yeah.
looks like a right hand side, yes. Cherry Foster.
forward. He's calling it right hand side. Jake Pryor from
in and We got Daily Driver winner, Mr. Weedle himself. Is this your, did you win Daily Driver last time as well? I did. Why got lucky again. Why so the setup on the Nova, just Atlas Nitrous 65 four door? Yeah, 63 four door. Oh, 63. Okay, 62. It's, uh, it's all natural here, 300 treadwear tire. Well, you're hooking home, I think, a little more money than last time. Really? Yeah, so the entries were 720 and we added 320 to the pot and we threw in a gift card to O'Reilly for 50 bucks too. I used that gift card. <laughs> Did you? Heck yeah. I think you're probably going to use another one. <laughs> yeah, appreciate y'all. Had Very a good hard. time. Did you win, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I want a picture with that. So, uh, tell me a little bit about the car. Just ballpark, nothing. So, yeah, it's a 65 Chevy two wagon. Uh, nothing too crazy. Turbo 350, 400 small block. Uh, just a little shot of nitrous, man. Just kind of a heavy, fun car. What did you win today? Uh, Daily Driver Pro. Daily Driver Pro? Yeah, gotta be nice. DOT tire, no mini tubs, all that. Nice, nice, nice. Congrats, got, nice. Yeah, Congrats. thank you. This is a good day. Been a long day. Yeah, we bought some off day. <laughs> <laughs> Been a lot going on, but now this is a challenging place for sure, but I I enjoy it. It's it's fun. It's something different. And it's uh, the same old sticky concrete surfaces get old. Yeah, it gives the underdog a fighting chance. Yeah, it gives a guy with a little less horsepower a chance. It really does.
Thank you. I gotta try, man. I gotta try. <laughs> man, he got all of y'all. How many did he prank over here? He got everything. He got all of y'all. Man, Jeff, let me get a word with you, man. So it's been one hell of a day today. It has. It's you guys been have trying. fought. You guys have fought. Obviously, besides just the tricky surface, the event in itself, right. short staff. Yes. You guys went against the weather. Yes. Multiple times. We've had accidents. We have people hit the walls. We had a rollover wreck. Yep. Um, I mean, and I even got the driver. You know, I even talked to the driver. He even he said, "Man, that was all me." I mean, straight up. That's that what was, we said too. But you that, know. Was, that was that was all me. I mean, that's just the racer in anybody, though. That's they're, right. They're gonna they're gonna keep stabbing that thing, trying to get on down the road and get across that line. Take the yeah. win. Um, I, I feel very fortunate to have the people I got out here helping us to do this. You guys don't give up. You guys are very resilient. You guys yes. are very determined. You guys have fought the obstacles all day. I mean, I I myself was thinking, wow, are they gonna? Keep pushing. I mean, right around the third wave. I mean, it was really coming down, and yep. you guys got the blowers, got back in it. It so. was uh, again. It was extremely <laughs> trying. We just kept watching the weather, and I finally, I, I was ready just to leave my leaf blower on, because every time I turned it off, it started raining. Yeah. And so I was about ready just to start leaving it on, leave but it finally, on. we got the break we were needing, and we were able to finish this thing and get it completed out, and we're about to do our last final run. Congrats to you and your team. I mean, Thank you. I've had other races say it, but man, you guys are tough. I ain't nothing without all these people. I ain't nothing. And the racers themselves, I, I, I can't get over. I, I'm totally pleased with the turnout we had today. I wish there were more, but I'm totally pleased with what we had. Uh, it just makes it better for them. Right. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna keep going. I love it. I, lo I love it 200%. Appreciate you very much. Appreciate you, thank yep. you. Yep.
Feels good. Uh, man, it was a hard job today trying to trying to turn it around. The first first round we was we was ten minutes from draggy pass looking at draggy passes. We was ten minutes from first round of small tire to first round of big tire. And then in second round, we was like fifteen minutes in between big tire and small tire. And then we've been like 20, 25 minutes the rest of the day in between rounds. Been so you won big, small tire and big tire? Small yeah. tire and big tire. Yeah, we doubled Double up. Winner. Doubled up, man. Feels That's good. what I'm talking about. Hell man. Welcome yes. back. Hell yes, man. It's been a long time of coming. I was laughing because we've gone through so much. We even got to the start line, right? Yeah. I was telling him. And you finally pull up, and it's like, great news. It's sprinkling again. You're in your lane. And <laughs> it's <laughs> in the lane. I was <laughs> trying to break your focus. I, was I, like, wow. I literally, it would stop raining. You and they'd they would say they would say we're going so i'd roll it back out of the trailer and i couldn't get the door on it before it started raining again we did that about six times today i'm going to talk with my mouth full you know what i mean i don't care man for, for so, a six percent chance of rain right it ain't Ooh. done a lot of rain yeah. anyway but hey at least it's warm enough and the breeze has dried up pretty so quick. i'm backing up so i can see i'm getting a little i'm getting a little older here uh, that's the first place yeah i know it is <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see if your big head wouldn't have put it through, you know what I'm saying? It's white. So that, would, that helps too. There you go. Now you're cheating. Now you saw the amount. I ain't seen the amount. I can't read it from here because my eyes are just bad. <laughs> my glasses are back in the box. So the purse paid 3360 Hell yeah. Okay? Hell yeah. You know that. You want it. That's for you. The purse paid 3360 We threw in another 1000 Oh. Hey. Wow. Uh, and Whoa. then uh, I think, or was that second place? Uh, I think there's also a $50 gift card up there. Where's the football? Really? Yeah. Hey. So wow. that one is $43.60. Wow, that's awesome. And your big tire is $11.20. We threw in $320 on that. You only paid $8. Um, and there's uh, another card up inside that one. Well, here. So, hey, great, on, great job on getting a card count. Today. Oh, Thank you. So, hey, I can't get it without you guys. You so guys here. sharing our posts and stuff oh, and dragging someone yeah. else here with you is what does this. So you gotta have a car show that I can't make. Yes, sir. For so Mr. Douglas Weeks. Yes, sir. Give them that, and then you did some money for Copeland when I didn't have my wall or anything on here either. Okay. So let's uh, give him some some money here. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, we see him just. Yeah, he, 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 he just couldn't be out. He's not supposed to be around people. I, yeah, I, and he's not supposed to be. In the I know. I know. Either. I won't be able to get back down here for that car show. We got a race, but give them, give them some money, a little bit of that. And... Hell yeah! I'll do just that. I appreciate it. I'm going to eat. I, you're fine. I trust you. Uh, oh yeah, you want that? Yeah, okay. I that one too. <laughs> you didn't want to give me that one last time either. <laughs> so we got three for Mr. Weeks. Yeah, three for Mr. Weeks. And, and what you have here? I don't know, I didn't count it, probably the 60. 20, 40, 40 60, 60 bucks? Yep. 60 bucks, we'll throw in there for Mr. Jason Copeland. Yep. Uh, sorry about my mouth, we'll keep the camera on him. Hey, I appreciate all the hard work. That's my money girl, I let her handle it all, she does great. Hell yeah. Kendall, thanks, thanks a lot, for, buddy. Appreciate you, brother.